Welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So tonight I'm actually in Chicago, but Greg is here looking after you with an exclusive reveal of a brand new Nouveau product, never before seen anywhere. Well, unless you watched my hop the other day, but this is its technically its exclusive reveal and they are glitter misters. So you may have seen me use a similar product before and I love these so much. I showed them to Tonic and they're like, this is just an awesome idea for no mess glitter crafting. It's controlled, um, it's limited mass, and I'm gonna have some top tips for you this evening on how to use it. We're gonna have some really fun ideas. So let's dive straight in. Now, of course, we're gonna need our favorite splat boxes. And what I'm gonna recommend is you use a splat box that's been prepped with a little bit of pixie spray in it. So this is my one that I usually use with stencils and pixie spray. If you don't know what pixie spray is, it's life-changing. You can check that top right-hand corner for a video on it. Um, but if you just spray some in, first of all, you're gonna avoid even less mess. And this is great for using with children, for crafting over the summer. So whenever you use glitter, I'm gonna say grab a splat box, grab some pixie spray, and grab a glitter mister. Because if you pre-spray your splat box with um, pixie spray, you're gonna avoid a lot of mess. So just grab yourself some cardstock and you can use any of these techniques along the way. This is the Tonic Ultra Smooth White Cardstock and you can use any of these techniques as I say. So you can take something like the Nouveau Glue Pen and you can just put a stripe on here. You can grab your Funky Tape Runner and put a stripe along there. You can take some of the Red Line Tape and we can put some along our paper which way it goes. Uh, you'll notice I'm also covered in paint because we're in the middle of some DIY projects, but hey, it's a new look. I'm going for something a little bit different today. So we're gonna put some of that on here. You can also take your adhesive pens and you can write something out. So let's just write out a hello. Uh, so at the minute you can't see much, but it's all gonna come clear at the end. You can also take something like your deluxe adhesive Take your silicone spatulas and use this like a paste. Put it through a stencil. Again, put your pixie, space, pixie spray on the back of your stencil and then spread your adhesive through it. Wait for it to get tacky. And then you'll be able to spray your glitter on and then you can add glitter to any stencil. What a cool idea that is. You can also use adhesive sheets. And if you check the top right hand corner, you can see how I did this technique with the adhesive sheets and the die cut the other day. Now. Let's get to those glitter misters because this is the really cool bit of technology. So all you do is you open up your glitter mister and you choose any glitter. Now I did show you the other day that you can create custom colors of glitter using alcoholic. Take your Nouveau diamond or ice white and take just those little uh, sauce pots. You can go back and check those videos if you want to. Um, and then you just add a couple of drops of alcohol ink, mix it with a popsicle stick or a toothpick or of course, you know that favorite craft pick, every crafter needs one. Uh, give it a mix up and you can create any color of glitter. But we're gonna use one of these. So I've got hot pink here, I've got the Alaskan blue, the prickly pear and mermaid parade. So I'm just gonna pop some inside my glitter mister and you don't fill it up, that's the first thing. So all you do is take off the little top that it comes with. She says if she can get it off of her hand. And we're gonna fill it up just around about half to three quarters of an inch. So you can see there, I kind of only filled it a little bit of the way. You don't want to fill it all the way up. You don't need to do that. Just around about there is fine. Then screw your lid back on. So this is how it comes in the beginning. You can see nothing's gonna happen when it's like this. All you do is you open your nozzle like this. So, then I can grab, where's that craft pick gone? I can take off my red line tape. Now we can take our piece off here. And so you can do all the same color. You can do controlled glitter. You can also do this on top of paste. So if you put down things like texture paste or grit paste, you can do this on top. And I've got a few colors here. I've already added the silver into this one we could add ourselves some hot pink into another one. So they come in just a box like this and you just pop it out like so. And then what you can do is just add yourself a little label using your P-Touch or write it on with a Sharpie. And as I say, any glitter fits in here, a coarse or a fine grade, so those ultra fines are gonna fit in here too. You can use either. 
and it's really easy to get it in there. You don't need a funnel or anything like that. It's got a nice wide top just ready for you to pop your glitter in the top. See, so far we've crafted with glitter and we haven't made a mess. And I know lots of you look at crafting with glitter and you're like, oh God, this is gonna make a terrible mess. Well, these don't. The only time it's gonna come out is as soon as you put this piece up, when it's down like this, it's not gonna come out at all. As I say, these are great for crafting with children as well. So all you then start doing is pump. So it's gonna take a couple of seconds for it to just kind of get in the nozzle and then you can start getting it out. So obviously it starts off light. And the reason I like having my um, pixie spray in here is it catches anything extra. I find it just a little bit easier if I have it towards me just because I'm a lefty. So at the minute I'm just pump, oops, pumping out a little bit of my mermaid. And so it's just giving me a really nice light sprinkling of that light, that blue glitter. So you can see they just have a little bit of that blue on there. Now if obviously if I wanted lots of it, I would dump on top and I'd just do a little bit. But then if I wanted to add a sprinkling of pink so that I can start doing those variegated techniques, I just start pumping and my pink starts coming out. Kind of doing it back to front just so that you can see it and you can see there so here my pink starts coming out and I'm starting to get more of those variegated techniques but you see only a little bit is coming out I'm not dumping tons out so I don't have it everywhere I don't have piles of glitter this one is my silver this one I'd been using already so it's primed so you can see once you've been using it a little bit you see how much more comes out but because I have that pixie spray in here, you see how that glitter isn't moving all over the place? Because it's got some of that temporary adhesive in it that just picks up that pixie spray, which is my favorite part. Um, or the, rather the pixie spray picks up that bit of glitter that I'm spraying in there. So once I've kind of primed these up, I start getting a little bit more glitter out. These will also take the thicker glitters, as I say, like the rock candy, the Tim Holtz glitters. Um, it'll also take your sparkle dust and your nice thick glitters as well. So if you're a lefty like me, you probably need it facing towards you. If you're um, a righty, then you're fine doing it the opposite way around. So I'm just going to fill these in for a second and then I can show you what they look like. in with some really fun techniques. So say I'm a lefty so I have to turn it around which I know isn't always fun on camera and because we're not technically live although Greg's here chatting with you I can do those fun things of like hang on a second I'm gonna fill it in and it really only took me probably like 20-30 seconds to do. Um, also in reality I've actually been spraying my deck all morning which is why I have these painty fingers and my hands are getting kind of tired but now we get to do the fun part so what I then suggest you do is take your surface sweep and then just give it a quick brush do that still in your splat box because again that pixie spray is going to pick up all of that residual glitter as I say this is a no mess technique I'm determined you're going to love playing with glitter because you're not going to make a mess everything's going to stay in this splat box so you can see there I mean look how pretty that variegated technique is so we've got the gold um the pink in there which is the hot pink we've got the mermaid parade and then we've got that silver in there and so you've got the hello, this is the red line tape, this is your funky tape, and then that's just with the, um, the large glue pen. But it's just a really pretty technique. Of course you could do it all the same, and as I say, if you put paste through a stencil, put it on straight away. So put your grip paste, put your texture paste through, and then just do a light sprinkle of glitter while it's still wet straight away. And it will just pick up a tinge for you as well. Again, no mess technique. Make sure there's some pixie spray in there first, and then your glitter doesn't come rolling out either. How cool is that? Um, so no mess glitter techniques with the glitter misters. As I say, all the links are gonna be for you in that video description. Of course, this month's savings codes are down there for you too. If you're a Hedgehog Hollow Perks member, you can sign up using that join link or um, I'll put, Greg will pop one in the chat for you or there'll be one in the description below and you can get 10% off your entire tonic purchase too. Lots of fun reasons to join, lots of discounts at other stores as well, plus you get a handmade birthday card. It could be this neon one behind me, 
It could also be the succulent behind me. You don't know what you're gonna get. I send out some of the cards. Well, I send out actually all the cards I make here on videos. I turn them all into birthday cards and I send them out to our Perks members. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's uh, kind of live. Uh, Greg's here chatting with you. Honestly, this is a no mess glitter technique. So if you have a glitter phobia and you think it makes a mess or you want a way of using controlled glitter or you wanna be able to do ombre techniques or glitter mixes without having to mix stuff together, this is the way to go. And this is his exclusive worldwide launch here at Hedgehog Hollow. So thank you so much for joining us. We hope you've had fun. We hope you love this as much as we do. I've been super excited to get these and I think you're gonna love them too. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell of course. I will see you tomorrow with another fun video, maybe a tip trick tutorial or something else. You never know what it's gonna be of course here at Hedgehog Hollow. Don't forget to hit that join button as well. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to check out the links in the video description. I'll see you again soon. Happy crafting, bye.